right, so we're live on Facebook. Uh, Hello. Sending data, and now we're live on YouTube. Twitch Hi. always takes the longest for some reason. And they, 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 they used a YSM on a purple background. background. <laughs> what do you mean? With only me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some people in the chat already. Right. Why did you see the chat stream? Um, if you want to check it out, I guess go to the Hospital Records YouTube. Or, yeah, I don't know where you can... Or maybe my Restream account. I do what? My Restream account, but no. You have to log into that and <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna log into any accounts live on <laughs> on stream. I already made that mistake once. <laughs> Hello everyone. If you just tune in, we're about to do a QA. Here we are. Gonna go through a bunch of questions relating to this event we got coming up on Saturday. Hospitality in the Void, 10 hours of drum and bass inside Minecraft with live visuals and lighting and stuff. <laughs> um, I guess before we jump into these questions, are there any questions from the chat, maybe? Who's out there? Yeah. Come on. Raise your voices! Is it? Yeah, the audio should be good. That worked. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, why don't we like trade off the questions that we got? Yeah. And then. Yeah, okay. Uh, so. Can you start? Because I've just lost. Some. Yep. I'll I'll do the first one. What inspired you to choose Minecraft as the platform over media like Fortnite, YouTube, and Twitch? Um, well, within Minecraft, we can control a bunch of things without having to redevelop the game itself, because uh, Minecraft is very malleable in that sense. Fortnite, um, the concerts that happen in there are done in collaboration with Fortnite developers and, um, yeah we don't we're not in uh, contact with anyone at Fortnite so we wouldn't be able to um, but yeah anyone can put on a Minecraft event really um, you just have to have the number of servers and uh, a crew to help put it together but yeah did you know that people did, did you know that you can do it yeah you can actually do it yourself yeah within Minecraft yeah, uh, there are other festivals within Minecraft that people put together themselves. We're not the yeah. only ones. And not all, all of them should, should be mentioned. mentioned <laughs> yeah, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them do it well. No, um, <laughs> of course not. Well, not like us. Yeah. And um, I've got to say that me and my eldest child, the chairman, um, who just bought a whiz bang new laptop, the school with a really big crisis with it. Um, we've been having a lot of fun at Minecraft, and particularly in, uh, in Matan's world, is hospitality uh, void, is it's pretty fun. And there's loads of Easter eggs, which is good. So, um, I can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm commentating for 10 hours. Do you, do you know how much energy that takes? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's gonna be a pretty extreme test of your, um, yeah. Stamina. Stamina. That's the word I was. Fortitude. Fortitude. You know, uh, fight for the cause. And all that. Yeah. General ability to like <laughs> stay awake <laughs> for ten hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Basically, basically, basically. I've, I've DJed for six and a half hours, but I've never kind of like hosted something for 10 hours yeah um, in fact i've never hosted anything <laughs> so um that'll be interesting oh i mean you host your podcast so 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's true. I have been doing that for about 18 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true. So you have a bit of experience. What, um, what kind of voice do you think I, 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 I should be using? Should it be, like, really excitable? Should it be kind of quasi-MC? Should it be, like... <laughs> I think, you know, just... Kind of, what you, what you, you know. <laughs> I think just what you usually do, really. Um, you know, keep it kind of uh, pirate radio y. <laughs> and um, I, I am allowed, I am allowed to, um, to take the Mickey out of um, <laughs> people who look particularly stupid, aren't I? Well, yeah. I mean, and and people who've who've ended up in silly situations and. Yeah, they got their head stuck down down a hole. They can't get out. Yeah, there's gonna there might be a few situations like that. We'll see. Cool. Uh, Sounds fun. So, Tony, one of the questions for you was, have you? Oh yeah, did you already do this question? I, I can't remember. What? what? Tony, have you ever played Minecraft before? I would never have imagined there to be a hospitality show in Minecraft. Um. Okay. Uh. Second question first. I have never imagined mm -hmm. um, until lockdown that there would be any hospitality shows anywhere but in the real world. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing about COVID and the way it's affected the world is I think it's going to push the arts very hard in a new direction and this is part of that so I never imagined it would happen um, it's it's mental you know I mean Minecraft's kind of like grown slowly how long have you been playing it Matt? I've been playing Minecraft for about six years now I started on tour in 2014 as a just a thing to do on a bus tour. <laughs> but wow, wow. Okay, so and it's it's come on leaps and bounds since then. You know, yeah. I mean, it looks the Java version looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, but it still retains the kind of um, the sort of eight bit vibe. You know. Yeah, I was always and, surprised why like more people of like my generation and older weren't into minecraft because it it i feel like it resonates with like people that used to play you know yeah, um, exactly. wolfstein 3d and like you know yeah that was all yeah doom doom yeah exactly yeah it's just no it's true it's true and it's amazing for me i've got two sons you know they're 10 and a half and 13 and a half mm -hmm. absolutely totally absorbed in collecting wood and digging a massive hole and and building a bedroom so they can get to bed in time you know it's it's amazing and it goes against the grain of the whole kind of like glossy hollywood ethic of superhero franchises and you know 128 bit explosions and all that kind of stuff it's like yeah it's really it's really interesting that that kids relate to it i love it it's mm -hmm. i mean my only kind of thing is that all kids relate to lego yeah mm -hmm. they do and this is like the digital version so absolutely i think there's a very strong relation there you know, and people are kind of introduced to Minecraft to Lego when they're real babies because it's blocks. Yeah, you know? it's, it's amazing because, yeah, it's like Lego, but you can literally build anything, you know, even a Minecraft yeah. festival. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, you can do really complex stuff in it. Like um, you can build computers. There's videos on YouTube of people building these huge, complex sims of different computers and yeah it's pretty crazy yeah 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 so um That's sweet. i've got some questions for you yep matan aka matzo aka mrsa mm -hmm. aka something else <laughs> um uh 
how's the music going to be transmitted? Is it going to be Barrel or Discord? Um, so it's all going to be transmitted through a company called Audio Movers, which uh, we've been using very successfully with all our events. And yeah, basically we stream it through a DAW. So, and this is a plugin anyone can go and buy right now. If you go to audiomovers.com. Um, and yeah, we stream out of uh, the decks in Tony's office into uh, a link that we share with everybody that they listen to while they play the game and they can listen to it in the browser. And I think there's going to be uh, an iOS app ready. There's, there you go. There's, there's the plugin. So yeah, there's going to be an iOS app ready, hopefully by by the time the event starts. Are you serious? That's really cool. Yes. I didn't know that. that. So you can listen to it on your phone as well. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, um, only people that buy a ticket will get the link. So it's definitely worth it. Definitely. Yeah. And, it, and, um... and it's completely live as well, which is the coolest thing about it. Yeah, and that's that's also the scariest thing about it, <laughs> um, because not only are the sets played completely live, I, London Electricity, who is probably one of the worst MCs in the world, I'm actually going to be hosting it for ten hours. <laughs> yeah. How did you? How did you talk me into that? <laughs> I mean, you can all, I mean, always get help. You can always get, get like... Uh, who, who applied the pressure? Who twisted my arm? It was, who was it? It was totally my fault. But My yeah. God. I said we could share think, it, you know, do half and half, but... You know. The thing is, thing is I, I will say yes to anything <laughs> and then bitterly regret it for about a few weeks until it happens and then usually I'll be really pleased that I did it yeah you know but It'll be no, it's cool it's cool it's cool I just I just hope that I can um, I hope there's enough stuff going on to kind of talk about you know yeah well you don't and, have to be uh, talking the whole time I mean yeah you know, <laughs> it's just things when something happens you can comment on it and if nothing yeah. happens you don't need to say anything <laughs> I think I might have to um I might have to like introduce the next DJ <clears throat> chat a little bit about what they're playing and um and then go and sit down and have a little cup of tea and put my slippers on for a cup for a, about half an hour before I I kind of like you know Get the get the kind of big applause at the end of the set, and uh, we, we'll definitely do some reloads. There's no, there's, there's yeah. absolutely no doubt about that. The most important thing is that people realise that if you want to get a reload, what you have to do is to jump as high as you can all together. I'll I'll count it in, um, but you need to be ready if you want a reload or a rewind, which in drum and bass terms means tune starts again because it's so brilliant then I'm going to call you out and get you ready and we'll do that okay so that's quite an easy one there'll be some slightly more bizarre ones as the uh, as the event progresses and as um, as, I, as I start to get bored with just doing rewinds there'll be some weird ones coming up so it should be fun yeah, absolutely. Um, another question was, uh, how does the void compare to the previous, uh, my pre the previous event we did, which was uh, Matt Zoe and friends? Um, and yeah, this one's a lot bigger. First of all, it's got cr way crazier visuals. Um, yeah, that's why the last one we didn't have to have a flashing images warning, and this one we do. So that's that's a clue there. <laughs> um, yeah, this I can vouch for that. Yeah, <laughs> I can vouch for that because last week um, the chairman, who's my thirteen and a half year old son, 
uh, actually got an overspec laptop for school, which he contributed to, so he could use it as a gamer laptop. And um, we got Minecraft, and we tested out the whole world, the whole hospitality in the void world. It's sick. It really is. It's going to be so fun. There's so many little surprises and Easter eggs and, you know, little things to find. There's a camping area where we can do meet and greet. Yeah. There's, um, it's, it's, it's going to be good. And it's going to represent, I do feel, from having seen it, it's going to represent, like, the family vibe of hospitality. Because Matt and I know you're already scheming about next year. Oh yeah, I won't reveal it, obviously. Um, I mean, we're but planning many, many of these. It it it's a meeting point, isn't it? Yeah. The one you were telling me about. Mm -hmm. It's a meeting of minds. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm going to ask you another question. Um. Uh. Okay. What is Minecraft? I've never played it before. Have you got any top tips? <laughs> what is Minecraft? It's just a big open sandbox where you can build pretty much anything within the limits of the game. And top tips. Just watch some YouTube tutorials, I guess. Get yourself acquainted. Or just get the game and wander around inside a world and just, yeah. But a really, really. Once you. A really do that, good... Yeah, sorry. Well, no, no, sorry. I interrupted you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of a lag, so that's the common theme with Zoom calls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying. So, <laughs> what, what I was going to say was um, as a Minecraft newbie, mm -hmm. me, um, it's really helped to have a few days of actually getting acquainted with the game and the mechanics of the game and also the sense of movement so you know when you get any kind of sort of first person game the experience is always different so at first you can there's generally this sort of slight nausea that kicks in when it doesn't move the way you think it should compared to the last game that you were totally obsessed with. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really good idea to get it as soon as you can and really get acquainted with moving around in the world because then you'll get a lot more out of the gig because you'll be able to get places quicker. You'll be able to be the right way up instead of upside down. Um, and you'll be able to jump up on stage and really annoy the DJ. Um, and, um, yeah, just put the time in between now and Saturday and it will be rewarded tenfold, I believe. <laughs> we even have the goose in here. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> goose! <laughs> He's wandering around. Where is he? <laughs> he's, a, he's a chicken in our campground. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. So he's not here right now. Yeah, he's actually yeah. in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for anyone that doesn't know, um, yeah, Chris Chris Goss, who is the other co-founder of Hospital Records, is often referred to as the goose. So. Don't ask me why. <laughs> so that's why we have him there. Nobody knows. So yeah, Nobody this is where all the um, building happens. I'm in the campgrounds right now, by the way. Oh, cool. So people around. Um, so yeah, you land here, and then you can go and build whatever you want in our campgrounds if you Yay. buy our campgrounds package. Looks like this guy's following me around now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so, um, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> hey, is, has anybody got some questions? Oh, yeah, of 
Of course, the questions. Let's bring those up. Um, another question for you. Mm. Aside from your set, what else will you be getting up to in the void? In brackets, commentating, artists, meet and greets, etc. Um, well, obviously, it'll be completely um, above board, um, family friendly, and uh, totally innocent. Um, so, I'll be kind of like, ba okay, what it is, we've got one computer in the house that can properly play java minecraft which is the chairman's laptop so while i'm djing he's basically going to be me because if i try and do it i'll just mess it up and I'm, i'll be too busy playing tunes so mm -hmm. he's going to be me kind of asking about on the on the decks or maybe not or Maybe just following someone he likes. I don't know. Um, and um, it'll be a combination of me and my son uh, randomly uh, kind of touring the void, really. That there is a hell of a lot to see. If, if so, that doesn't um, warm your heart, <laughs> then I don't know what does. Oh, it warms my heart. Yeah. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's quite scary as well. Like when you first dive into the void, mm -hmm. there is this moment of darkness where you think, oh shit, what am I going to see? Yeah, it has and then, effect, definitely. And then coming towards you, you can see this kind of like glow and this like this structure that is obviously built for the purpose of entertainment. And uh, does that sound right, Matam? Yep. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, that's, it's that's like a that, isn't it? description of, of the experience of <laughs> stepping into the... Yeah, yeah, so it's a bit spine-chilling at the beginning, but then, yeah. then you get there. Sorry, I'm eating nuts because I've eaten nothing all day, and um, nuts are good for you. Yeah. They've got very high anything. potassium levels. <laughs> Um, so. and and then you actually hit the ground and, and, and you can wander around and there's all sorts of things like little kind of like little pop up food things and you can get drinks and like there's even a hospital merchandise shop yep I'm I in the hospital you. server now showing the viewers around cool oh wow it's, lots of things have changed That's your guys. So yeah, this is a the this is a a demonstration of what Tony just described. <coughs> so yeah, this is the stage area with all the shops and bars and the stage, obviously. So, yeah, this is where the event will take place. And everybody will have a trident that they can use to get around nice and quickly. Nice. So it's actually quicker than not being underwater. Because <laughs> you can swim around. Great. That's good. Um, Matan, I've been dying to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. I'm slightly afraid of the answer. Uh, what are enhancers? <laughs> well, there are certain items that you take to make yourself or make the game appear different, I would say. Or make yourself you, appear different. When you say take, yeah, you, you, you... Can you elaborate on that? 
you digitally ingest them, and it's perfectly Ooh, safe, hey. and 100% sanctioned by the government. Legal highs. Yeah, they're they're completely legal highs. <laughs> and, and also safe and tested by, by science. <laughs> With more, yeah, multiple tests. And, uh, <coughs> have you got an ambulance team ready? Oh, oh yeah, we have we have a med tent. So okay, if, cool, if cool. We we took all the precautions. Me, we haven't had any. It's hospital. It's hospital. We, we got any, uh, enhancement related deaths yet, but um, <laughs> we have we have a med school med tent over here. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. You go to if you took too many enhancements. That's where you go. <laughs> and so, somebody, somebody will deal with you, <laughs> basically. Yeah. It might be me, so be yeah. careful. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't get carried away, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Keep it Easy on the enhancements. Right, okay. Um, so, um... Should we bring up the... Will the artist actually be playing Minecraft? Yes. With us? At all, like with everybody. Yes, and in fact, they're going to be doing meet and greets um, before their sets in the campgrounds, so anybody can come and hang out and chat with them. Wicked. Um, what's another? I just want to see Spy. Yeah. Like, actually interacting with someone in Minecraft. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah. So I am privileged to have seen everybody's set lists. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if these are the lists that they're roughly going to stick to with the tunes they're going to play. Doesn't mean they will, but um, Spies is quite special uh, because basically goes like this dub dub plate dub plate dub dub possibly a, possibly another dub two more dubs uh dub uh which will probably get rewinded uh dub another dub the end <laughs> yeah it's pretty much exclusive <laughs> so so from carlos lima aka spy you are going to get a whole set of unreleased music. Yeah. Now, I don't think this has ever happened on Minecraft, let alone on a kind of um, immersive animated experience before. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not nothing outside of real life events. <laughs> no. No. So, this is where fantasy meets reality yeah absolutely and how on earth am i going to announce like yeah reload reload this dub reload this dub <laughs> it's another dub reload oh. <laughs> kind of limits you as a host you know when all you know it's a dub yeah Anyway, that's all you need to know. It'd be fun. It'd be hilarious. Yeah. You better all be standing on your heads by then. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, that's the goal of any artist, I think, is to be able to play a whole set of, of unreleased dubs of your own, you know? <laughs> that's like, that's the biggest flex as an artist, I think. <laughs> it is. And pretty much, Carlos is out on his own mm -hmm. in that respect because he can actually do that because he's got some kind of weird, I don't know, he, he's part Italian, part Brazilian, mm -hmm. and snuck in there somewhere into his DNA is this ability to make a tune in about three hours that sounds ridiculously banging and completely on point technically just practice I don't know where he got it from um, Doing the only now. composer looking through the history of time that I know could do that was Mozart 
So I will put it out there. I will compare Spy to Mozart. Yeah, I think that's a fair fair comparison. Hmm. Um, Alright, another question is... Is the main event available on Xbox Minecraft or only the PC version? Um, it's available on any Java version, so um, Mac, books, or PC, or any uh, OS. As long as it's Java edition, it'll work. Yeah, um, but unfortunately, I don't think it'll work on Xbox. No, it won't work on Xbox. I don't. Think and it definitely won't work on PS4 or Switch. Yeah. One day we'll do events that will be cross-platform, but that's yeah. like Minecraft <laughs> to get their act together. Yeah. You know, make it a lot easier to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to remember that Minecraft is ahead of ahead of a lot of people who are putting their time and love into the software, mm -hmm. and it's not like a, it's not like kind of. Apple or Microsoft or EA Games. It's very different. Mm -hmm. um, another question for you is what kind of set can we expect to hear from you on Saturday? Is that from me or from you? That's from me <laughs> to you. Okay. Um, I've gone for... I actually did two sets. The first set that, that I did, which I was planning to put forward, was really, really deep. And I did like it. But once I'd seen the world and the, the entire kind of void, I thought, no, it's not really appropriate to play liquid from i don't know uh 2003 in in this setting so i have made it quite a lot more euphoric melodic i hesitate to use the word banging um because i don't tend to bang 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 i i love a good drop but I will always kind of subvert it with something unexpected afterwards. So it's going to be high energy. It's going to be a lot of melodic hooks and also um, interesting chords, but high velocity. So that's, that's a good description. What I think I've done. Sweet. Um, I'm Let's have a look at the questions. Um, so how do you get involved? What do you need to download? Yep, just um, first you need a Minecraft account and Java Dif edition of Minecraft, as we said. And um, then all you have to do is buy a ticket or go to join.madzoo.events and wander around our ticket shop. Um, and there you can see what our yeah. are like and then if you want to buy a ticket you can do so through there or you can uh, go to hitv.hospitalitydnb.com or uh, tickets.madzoo.events either one of those work um, you can you can but the guys in the ticket booth are wicked yeah and um, I I would highly recommend that you take the trouble to queue and actually buy a ticket because it already immerses you in the experience. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and the good thing about it is you don't actually have to queue. <laughs> and you can all crowd around at once and be rude. But, yep. <laughs> but only in the game. Can you and you don't have to wear masks. Yeah. You don't have to wear masks to get into this. You don't. You don't. And you can hug people. Yeah, you can hug. It's amazing. You can hug people. You can bump into each other. You can. Yeah. You don't have to social distance. <laughs> I mean. No, you really yeah. don't. I mean, you do in real life, but <laughs> in the game, 
you can yeah. be as close as you can. Um, as far very important question here. Uh, will these sets be streamed anywhere else? No. Um, they will be recorded, so people will have the option to post them afterwards, but Good. there won't be any st external streams of the event happening because we want to keep it exclusive so Spike yeah. can play his <laughs> 20 dubs without fear of leakage. <laughs> So, yeah. Now, Matan, do you want to just, like, reel off a list of who's playing? Yeah. Um, let's... So, I know it's Lens, Newtone, Logistics... Let me get this in order, though. Yeah. Lens, Newtone, Logistics, Makoto, Degs, London Electricity, myself... Graphics, Flavor D, and Spy, last, but not least. Um, and yeah, it starts at uh, 2 p.m. GMT and ends at midnight GMT. So that's, um, that's going to be pretty early for me <laughs> for a start. Whoa, yeah. 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 And pretty early for any. For, the... for you, that means that you can go out for dinner afterwards. Yep, exactly. Although, That's nice. <laughs> although I'll probably crash pretty hard after that. <laughs> you wait. Or the yeah. adrenaline will keep you up. Yeah, that might be true. I might have yeah. to. Yeah. It might be a case of partying afterwards, but. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you know what? We have not thought about an after party. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the cool thing, is that you can just do another set if you want, or I can do another set. Really? Yeah. Live? And we can have, yeah, live. And we can have, wow. and we can do it in the campgrounds, even. Oh my god, That's I had no idea. Last time, yeah. I did a, like, an hour and a half of drum and bass last time. Maybe it was less. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to tell me exactly how to do that. Just the same, the same thing you do with streaming the event. You just, <laughs> um, yeah. Just start playing. Yeah, just yeah. start playing, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Um. Uh, somebody asked, is there any new merchandise that we can pick up from the online shop, and? I believe. Yes. Um, the latest merchandise in. It's not a pair of panties. It's actually a mask. But it gets think? better. I think. I think that looks pretty swish. I think it's pretty appropriate because it's hospital records as well. Hospital yeah. masks. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're hospital grade so, hospital masks. You'll find out when when you're there. You'll see, you'll see, and David Lopez will take care of you, and he's very good at taking care of people. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, let's see, what's another question? What can you buy in the online shop? What are enhancers? Well, why don't we demonstrate what enhancers are? Let's yeah, go on. Buy, let's go and buy some, some... I keep, <laughs> I keep trying really hard not to call... I can't see you! <laughs> I, I can't see you doing this. I, you'll have to go to your YouTube channel to unmute it or something. And then you'll see the live stream. I try. I did try. I did try. So I should say that first, first you can get your normal drinks, which don't really do much, but <laughs> you got a choice of vodka, <laughs> Blue Lagoon, Panda Pop. That's always good. If anybody remembers Panda Pop. 
Yeah. Hard, Big time. Hard kombucha and mermaid mint mojitos. So it's we got a very good selection of drinks. But if you uh, go to the back here, we got a... <laughs> this guy is selling other things, such as uh, Cod Tranquilizer, Pizza Time, Nether Essence, Nitrous, Made Ooh. 3 Loaded, <laughs> Ooh. Inverted Silence, Silver Line, Ooh. and then you can get a confetti launcher here as well. So Wow. Yeah. Like it. So, let's... Uh, do some of these enhancements and see what see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta do it. Yep. Let's, gotta get involved. Just gotta, just gotta it. be careful because you know I'm I'm on the job. You know. <laughs> oh. I don't want to get sacked. Uh, How can you get sacked selling something on Minecraft that doesn't actually exist? Well, you know, it, the I don't want to get too you know fucked up. <laughs> 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 That's that's just how you lose your job, so. <laughs> that's brilliant. I love it. Um, I love it. I love the fact that you're concerned that people might feel it's so real that they actually feel the negative aspects of the enhancers. Oh yeah, I mean, if not the enhancers, then the visuals will definitely <laughs> make you feel sick. <laughs> oh, the light show. The light show exactly. will. Definitely make you step back and think, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What did I experience? Let's see, what does this do? Enough said. Oh my. This this just makes you move, like, crazy quickly. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's, called, ooh, ooh, it's called nitrous. Ooh, 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 wow. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. What else have we got? Pizza time. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> oh dear. All right. <laughs> Pizza time. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of trippy. I don't know if you does can it, see this. Does it throw pizzas into it into the crowd? No. It kind of gives you spider vision. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah. So. uh... This is this is the one that we usually get people in the med tent for. <laughs> people usually, you know, they they lose their way and you know they have spider vision. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, don't don't worry. Every everything's safe <laughs> and sanctioned. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, a question for you, Tony. Have you got some yeah. kind of customized character skin? Will be will we be able to recognize you in the game? Yes, you will. I do have a skin, and Matt and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they will be for sale. Yes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be artist skins for sale. So Where? you will be able to be me. And then confuse everybody. Yeah. By being me. Costumes. Wandering around. And. Oh dear. Looks like uh, something broken here. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Okay. You'll fix we were. You'll fix it. Yeah, we're we're fixing that before the event. But. Somebody the, turn off. There's a kind of like really interesting concept here, because. Can you imagine? <clears throat> okay, so there's Makoto pl playing. There's me. And there's Spy. And if you synchronize and get their skins, enough of you, then you can storm, storm the stage looking just like them. And they'll get really freaked out. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, you can buy. I think you can buy. Oh wait. Ah, there we go. We fixed it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's fixed. That's quick. But, um. That's quick. Yeah. I'm 
I don't know if we're gonna actually have player disguises in time because not all the uh, artists have created their Minecraft accounts yet. <laughs> but we're gonna tr definitely try to get uh, artist disguises. But if my thanks go to my son. Yeah, and but we he rules. we do have uh, disguises as you can disguise as like a dragon or like a creeper or all sorts of other different mobs currently. But we are going to try and get artists. Have you, uh, have you got a scary nurse? I'm, yeah, we do have a scary nurse, actually. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we have a scary nurse, we have a sexy nurse, we have all, <laughs> we have different nurses for every sorts of occasion. I hope you got a sexy male nurse as well as a sexy female. Oh, yeah, no, we, we're, we're not sexist, of course. Good. Right, that's here, though. Yeah. Um, the sheep were coming in strong last time. Yeah, the and last time there were there were a lot of uh, parrots. There was a big <laughs> parrot, a parrot crew, parrot gang. Why? Just uh, just what happened. <laughs> Everyone gravitated towards being a parrot. Okay. So um. That's cool. Yeah. But all, uh, one thing to note is that. Only other people will be able to see your disguise. If you look at yourself, you won't be able to see it. But yep. rest assured, other people will be able to see. Yeah. Maybe somebody from my team can demonstrate. I know they're watching. <laughs> somebody? Somebody in here? Oh, Somebody, anybody, in. please. So this is this is a disguise. <laughs> um, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you'll be able to buy uh, disguises that will allow you to turn into various creatures, at least, at the very least. Oh, someone's a puffer fish now. <laughs> nice. Um, Matt's on. Will, um, <coughs> excuse me, will players of the game be able to archive their own footage? Yes. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, just like in an actual event. Um, mm. you know, people are allowed to take phone recordings. I mean, sometimes they're not at some events. Mm. But if people want to record this and have it for themselves, that's fine. But yeah, I mean, they will get taken down if you post them online, unfortunately. But that's that's the only way we can have it so people can yeah. play whatever they want and, you know, yeah. free to do whatever they want. So, if you're involved... Do archive your footage, but um, don't publish it and wait until the world is nearly ending and copyright rules go out the window. <laughs> there then, go. then publish it. <laughs> well, definitely, you know, ask permission if, if you're going to publish an artist set. But uh, yeah, it's up to the artist really. After that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got some Enderman floating around now. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, let's see if we got any more questions. I think we covered pretty much everything, though. I think we have. Yeah. Let's we'll stretch. Are there any more more questions more? from? Any more from the chat? Uh, fantastic fan. Space and hard drive, yeah. Some people are already clearing space in their hard drive for, <laughs> for our yeah. Business. Good, good, good move. Mm. Good move. But also one thing to note is, please, please do not restream it. Like, don't you know? Join the event and then um, stream it on Twitch. <laughs> 
because oh. yeah, we'll then have to come find you and yeah. spend time doing that and that's yeah don't do that that's time it's our party and we want it to be our party mm -hmm. and you guys have all paid money to get in so yeah and besides now no vibe now with all the DMCA takedowns on Twitch, um, you probably wouldn't be able to stream it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no dick moves, as somebody said. Um, how will music get transferred over into Minecraft? Uh, the music will be listened to in a separate link that you listen to in your browser or on your phone, whichever. Um, and that link you'll get here. It's in your hotbar when you join, when you right click, and you get a link that you click, and that will, yeah. So yeah, that's how you get the audio. Any other questions? Otherwise, I guess uh, we'll carry on finishing this build. Last time the, ink, the link was emailed as well. Will that happen again? Yes. Everyone that buys a ticket will get an uh, email on the day with all the information that you need, including the link and yeah, and some instructions also if you're a real beginner on Minecraft. And to get to the stage, we'll, you need to teleport. No teleporting will be done. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's in the chat asking, can she fly? And, yeah, I'll think about that, Christine. <laughs> can she be an angel? Yeah, you can be whatever you want. Um, yeah, you say that now. Uh, well, anyone can be whatever I want, so I'm not going to, you know, it's not me picking favorites or anything. But yeah. Um, but listen, I just want to say that we've been working with Matan since. Is it 2010? Even earlier. 2008 is the first Eight? time. Yeah. With the first chemical? Um, that was. It was or different. Different, yeah. Different, yeah, different. It was on sick different. music. One, I think, and C Music One, and it's still a standout track that thank you. I have been continually remastering so I can play it out, and it thank goes you. off. I appreciate um, we've kept touch, and that has led to this point where we can actually do a Minecraft event together and Matan has assembled a team of like-minded geniuses, geeks, freaks, OCD nuts, whatever. But they are bringing this to you because of their genius for coding and for getting music out there into the Minecraft space. So, I've got so much love and respect for Matan. Yeah. And Matan, it's, it means so much to me that you've maintained this link with our family. Yeah. It really does. I mean, it means a lot that you guys were, you know, one of the first people to, you know, give me a shot. And I have always appreciated that. Appreciated that. And... It's awesome that we can do something like this together, um, especially during a pandemic. <laughs> I know, everybody's, everybody's I know, right? Doing events together, it's uh, it's good to do events. Um, yeah. I mean, if it's in a virtual environment, I think it's still pretty fun. Um, We're still there. It's yeah. still us. Yeah. Yeah. There's still, still live music and live visuals, and yeah. What more can you ask for, really? Except for cool. actually being there <laughs> in the space. I think it... All in good time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
So, we'll see you on Saturday. Yep. So, thank you all for tuning in to our little Q&A. We'll see you on Saturday. And, yeah. For, if you want to get tickets, I'll post the link in the chat. And, um, yep. Take care, everyone. From Tony and I. I'll see you in a few days. Peace. Peace. Big love.